What is up and welcome back to AI on Crypto. We're going to give a shout out on this video to the CNFT community over on Cardano. Guys, I have not been making as much content as I like and as you guys are used to. And for that, I'm sorry. But the reason is, is because there is an absolute bull run going on right now in the Cardano NFT marketplace, often referred to as CNFTs. All decent projects right now are exploding. I'm having incredible gains and I am getting obsessed with these mints. There is an artistic explosion happening right now as the Cardano blockchain finally blooms before our eyes after years of it not quite delivering what we are hoping in a quick enough time frame. It is now. And on this video, guys, I'm going to show you what I've been doing in the CNFT space. I'm going to show you what you need to know, what websites you need to learn how to use so that you can take advantage of this bull rush going on right now over on Cardano with their NFTs. All right, guys, so we're going to watch this CNFT video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we talk about cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, and all the things on the blockchain that fill our bags to the max, and we stay far away from Rex City. We make daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, playing in blockchain gaming, metaverse, and more. So if you're looking for that kind of content, you've come to the right spot, please subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss time-sensitive videos, and welcome to the community. Now, before we get into Cardano and the incredible explosive activity happening in the CNFT marketplace or Cardano NFT marketplace, I got to remind everybody, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this video should be construed as financial advice. You got to do your own research, talk to a financial advisor before making any financial decisions. All right, guys. So I, I normally pump out five to seven videos each and every week. That's very important to me. I, I like to keep you guys all engaged and in the loop with what I'm doing and what's going on in the cryptocurrency blockchain NFT space. But I have been so encapsulated by CNFTs lately or Cardano NFTs. That's what we all refer them to them as CNFTs that I just haven't even had time to make videos or tweet or do anything because there is such explosive activity. There's a good mint happening every other day. And even if there's not a mint happening, I'm like glued to the CNFT market space, sniping good deals because the gains are incredible. Right now, the stock markets are struggling a little bit. Cryptocurrency is still trying to find its way back. But the CNFT space is absolutely exploding with 5X, 10X, 20X, um, activities happening each and every day there's a project doing a two or three x right on this video today we're going to go over some of the projects i've bought recently but more importantly for you guys who might want to start getting involved with cnfts i'm going to show you exactly what you need in order to get going all right guys now before i show you the tools of the trade of the true cnft samurai i gotta just tell you guys not only am i bullish on these cnfts but it inherently makes me incredibly bullish about Cardano. And there's a weird paradox that happens that I noticed that occurred with Ethereum in late 2019 and early 2020. And that is this. DeFi and NFTs began to just uh, bloom on the Ethereum network. All of a sudden, there was all this use case and demand for Ethereum with all the transactions that we were doing, right? And everybody was buying NFTs. They were getting involved in DeFi and buying these ERC-20 tokens. And while this all happened <clears throat> and all these ERC-20 assets started to spring up and when Uniswap first came about, the interesting thing was that despite all that activity on the Ethereum platform, the Ethereum token value was kind of remaining constant. And I think the reason why that happens is people were buying the Ethereum and quickly exchanging it for those other tokens. Um, and I think the same, or buying NFTs. When you buy an NFT, that token is going to largely get burned for cash because that's the money and revenue for these NFT projects. So if you buy... Uh, let's just say 5,000 ADA and you spend them all minting out on an NFT project, well, that NFT owner is going to at least turn a, some of that into cash, right? So that that's ADA that's going to get sold by the creator of that NFT that you just bought from, right? 
So I think the same, but eventually Ethereum caught up with that and Ethereum exploded to new all time highs. I think we could see a similar thing with Cardano here as we start to embrace and adopt CNFTs, Cardano DeFi, Cardano Market Makers, Cardano Play and Earn Gaming, Cardano Metaverse activity. It's all coming, guys. Right now, you know, it's still early. I'll tell you right now, the activity on the Cardano NFT uh, marketplace is so high right now that it's been real slow process buying some NFTs. It's just been a slow blockchain. The blockchain has been congested. It's getting tested right now by the increase in volume with all these CNFTs. All right, guys, so now we're going to get to the tools, all right? And I'm going to link all these websites that I'm gonna show you here in this video in the description. So everything you need, everything that I'm about to talk about is going to be in the description below. All right, guys, so the first tool is jpeg.store jpg.store this is the open c of cnfts so for all the cardano nfts this is the store you want to buy it from jpg.store it's a uh, very user friendly very easy and it connects to a web3 style wallet and the one i'm going to suggest you use is nami n-a-m-i all right the nami wallet which can be installed on chrome brave or edge i do have it installed on chrome okay guys now on the jpeg store they'll show you the top nft collections by volume which is always a great tool so over the last seven days you can see these are the number one projects by volume we've got mad dog car club we've got dead rabbit resurrection society the pitches at clay nation chilled kongs havoc worlds false idols uh it, Ada Invaders and the Ape Society rounding up in the top 10 along with uh, Boss Cat Racket Club and Space Buds. All right, guys, it shows you all of the projects that are currently minting or that have minted very recently. All right, guys, we've got False Idols, Weeble Mids, Unwanted Ones, Phoenix Arena, all minting now. So you can go in here, you could begin sniping if you wanted to, if you like these... Um, unwanted ones you can see it does have the activity of the project and it looks like this stuff it launched on the 18th looks like the price has gone down a little bit since launch and it's just now correcting not financial advice of course this is often a good time to get into a project as it begins to turn the corner and that is of course only if people are liking it and i don't know anything about the unwanted ones so don't take this as an endorsement but i will show you now some of the great projects that I've done really well in and that I do highly recommend as projects to put on your radar. Number one, Clay Nation. They recently had uh, basically an AMA with Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, and Snoop Dogg, Champ Medici, his son, and, along with some other artists that showed up on that AMA. Clay Nation is definitely a blue chip in the space. They're building out a metaverse. They have a floor of about uh, 2,500 ADA right now for the OGs. They also have a derivative product that they did in cooperation with the band Good Charlotte, and that is uh, the Good Charlotte Clays. Those have a floor price of about 700 ADA. They also recently launched Clay Nation Land or the Land Pitches. They have three different land metaverses that you can buy right now on jpeg.store. Uh, this, um, <clears throat> this is a project that I got into around a uh, 200 ADA floor. And of course, now it's a 2700 ADA floor. So I've done really, really well with this project. I also got in early because I had some OG clays. I was able to mint in a whitelist fashion of the OG clays. I was also able to get the clay lands at a very low price, which I had explosive gains on as well. Ada Invaders. This is one that I uh, got in recently. I was not able to mint one because it sold out so fast, but I immediately began uh, buying Ada's off the uh, Invaders off the secondary market, and now I have accumulated quite a bit of these 3D art, um, sci-fi, artistic themed uh, CNFTs, which are just phenomenal. The community is really something else everybody loves the art the collection small and limited at only 2500 but there is a nice roadmap here guys the team is very competent uh they've got 
Senate nodes coming up for sale, which will only a thousand of them. And uh, it's going to give great utility to the holders, including um, whitelists on all future sales. They're going to have new alien species uh, coming out quite often as in future releases. And holding these OG Ada Invaders is really going to give a lot of utility, in my opinion, as this ecosystem continues to be built down the line. Now, here's a little bit of alpha for you guys. Space Pugs Alpha, pun 100% intended. All right, guys, this is a project minting over the weekend. If you're already in the whitelist, um, you're going to mint tomorrow. But if you, you're not whitelisted like me and most of us watching the video, that's going to be this Sunday. I'll go ahead and link this in the description as well. Uh, another tool you guys need is Twitter. Just like the NFT space, CNFT is very, very active on Twitter. And uh, here's another tool for you guys, cnft.tools. I'll link this in the description below, but this is gonna be where you're gonna be checking the rarity of your projects. Like right here, uh, I'll talk about Ada Invaders, that project I just mentioned that I really like. I showed you the website. This will show you the top rarities in the collection. And you can see this sucker is going for, what is that? One, two, three, 100,000 Ada. Uh, this guy right here is going for 8900 so everything in the top 50, uh, the floor is like 4900 guys. And there's been a lot of big sales, a lot of big sales. But anyways, you uh, cnft.tools is where you can come. It'll show you the rarity. It'll also link it to the, to the sale. Like if I wanted to, let's say I was checking out the rarity and I said, oh, I want to buy this guy. And then it shows it's, it's actually listed for 8900 I could click on that. It takes me right to the JPEG store listing. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, I've been really deep into CNFTs and I think that it's probably going to remain that way because there's so much going on. And I think that there's about to be a flood of liquidity coming over to take advantage of, of this really outstanding CNFT marketplace that's being built. And guys, <clears throat> I've actually, I bought my first CNFT a while ago, probably almost a year ago. And at that time, the buying and selling experience was nowhere near as nice as the Ethereum experience. So I was willing to pay higher fees, uh, pay higher mint costs, pay higher to get in projects, um, you know, whatever, the whole Ethereum scene. But now with this NAMI Web3 wallet and the ability to connect that wallet directly to the JPEG store, now the experience is getting quite similar to Ethereum. And the artists are very talented and the community is passionate, guys. This is Ethereum NFTs 2019. All right, guys, I'm making this video for you. I'm making this video for the person willing to open their ears and take advantage of this life changing opportunity all right guys thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't done it already please subscribe tap that bell so you don't miss anything in the future that's time sensitive and we'll catch you on the next one